And they both really want to be the new Brazilian national champion. Here we go, they shake hands, fist bump, lock horns immediately. Braguinha trying to circle around. Faking a shot right there. Now Spirandelli doesn't shy away from, uh, from a little stand-up game. As I said it, he pulls guard. Now Spinadelli is ready to, he's going to have to deal with one of the toughest guard passers in the game. Let's see what he has for uh, Gustavo Batista. Establishes up Modify Lasso on Gustavo's left side. Trying to control the bottle of the pants. Gustavo denies that. Okay, so now he has same side, same side grips. Gustavo's left side is all gripped up by Matteo Spirandelli. Pant control. And Matteo sweeps Gustavo Spirandelli. Gustavo Batista. Matteo Spirandelli coming for two points, leading the score. Gustavo Batista trying to get out of there. He gets an advantage for passing. Both out of bounds. Matteo Spirandelli leading the score. 2 0 1 advantage. Now we're going to get to see Gustavo Batista playing guard. Got really good control there. Sleeve and pants. Mateus is actually very, very hard uh, to sweep. Gustavo's going to have to be very aggressive there. Doesn't want to let time run out. Mateus Spirandelli Souza from Alliance Jiu Jitsu against Gustava Batista Braguia from Atos Jiu Jitsu. Atos versus Al Alliance here at the 2023 Brasileiro Finals. Men's medium heavyweight finals matchup. As we mentioned earlier, Braguia. Very, very technical guard player, very technical passer. He's got some of the best passing in the entire sport. Now, Matheus looks very confident in his match. He just, he pulled guard against one of the best guard passers of our day, and he was able to sweep. Now, that must feel good, Ricardo. Yeah, big confidence booster.
We're coming up on the halfway point of this match. Head to head there for a second. Batista standing now. We see Serginho Moraes outside. Coaching Spirandelli as well. Dimitri Souza as well. And of course, Michael Lange as his coach. We see the entire Alliance crew around here. And for Braguinha, you see Luisa Montero right there. Obviously, Andre Galval. Now they're exchanging grips. Spirandelli pulls guard once again. Spirandelli less lacing that lasso and then getting the foot in the bicep here. Pirandelli with his foot on the face, basically, on the neck of Gustavo Batista. Does not get faced by it at all. Keeps putting on the pressure. Nice stack there by uh, Braguia, but spirandelli has got that pant on the far leg there. Left pant leg, and he's got control of Braguia's sleeve, so. If Braguia moves too much to the right side, he can end up getting swept. It's swept. So that's why he's continuing to stack and trying to pass to the left. Seems like Mateo's gonna recover. It's an underhook now for that right side of Braguia. Let's it go, goes to the collar, trying to bring him a little tighter. Okay, now Braguia has got his, his legs free. Mateus doesn't have that, that grip on the bottom of his pants anymore. He's moving more freely. Might be able to put more volume on Mateus right now. It's not allowing Mateus to, to grab his pants again. Try to pass really low. So Virginia brings him back down. It's a, that's probably one of the most misunderstood positions in the sport. A lot of people would have say, ask a question, well, does he get two Take points down. or does he get an advantage? But no, because it started from the guard position of Spirandelli. So taking somebody back to the same position doesn't get you anything. It's not a progression. No. Back to the feet now.
Ricardo, we got two minutes left. Yeah, this is a, a big win potentially for Spirandelli, for Matteo Spirandelli from Alliance. But do not count. Oh, and Batista with the sweep yes. to the top position. I was just going to say, As do not saying. count him out. Beautiful sweep. Now gets to the back of Spirandelli. Wow. And Batista gets the collar with the right hand. He's stretching him out for the bow and arrow. He's oh got the leg my over. My goodness. He is go. going he to submit. Group. He's got the leg over the shoulder. He's stretching him out. Matter of time now. Oh my goodness. Gets the four points. As you were saying, don't count what? <laughs> don't count. Mateus, oh, he was in a good, I saw something about to happen. A premonition of a sweep coming. Don't. And sure enough, he did it. Gets to the back, gets the collar, he and he's getting finish. the submission here. He is. he is going to finish. Gustavo Batista and wins by submission. And is your 2023 medium heavyweight Brasileiro champion. Amazing comeback. Third best comeback of the, the day. day, yes. What a great fight. What a great fight. fight. Props to Spirandelli for bringing, yes. bringing it to Braguinha. But in the end, Braguinha was able to pull out that sweep, go to the back, take the back, score the four points, and strangle his opponent. Showing why he's considered one of the very best of the best. Absolutely. And you got to remember, he's got a ton of experience. He was competing against high-level black belts as a brown belt. And that really counts. Absolutely. When he gets to these high-stakes, high-level uh, battles, when you have more experience, that gives you an edge. All right, we'll be back with more action live from the 2023 Brazileros.